Good morning, cuties. So this week, I thought that I would share my outfit every day because I am on winter vacation for a week. I'll explain to you later. I was supposed to fly to meet my family in Europe and it's not happening. We're trying to look at the bright side. This is it today. We're having a Christmas Eve brunch with a few friends in a restaurant that we really love. So I'm wearing this kind of robe dress um, with cowboy boots. I would like better cowboy boots. These are really like fake cowboy boots. They're not the legit thing. Um, I would love to get a really good pair of real cowboy boots, but um, these are like my, you know, little Princess Diana vibe shoes. It's actually very sunny outside as you can see. So, December or the world is just really warm. Would you like to tell the people of the world what you're wearing? Yes, I'm wearing clothes. Ah, uh, don't you love clothes? I'm wearing this secondhand dress that you bought at the flea market. Mm-hmm, a local flea market. Yeah, and this floral turtleneck that I really like from Other Stories. This is new. Other Stories, you can sponsor us. And I'm like wearing it under like all my summer dresses, which is a really fun winter thing I Layering discovered. Layering tip jacket from this designer that I bought in Rome. Claudie. Claudie Pierlo. Pierlo. Pardon my French. French. And Nike sneakers. Nike sneakers. <laughs> and Topshop jeans. And like uh, like uh, like um, long underwear. Long johns. I guess what we call them. Okay, I'm going to university to work and to give a lecture. Um, maybe I'll take off the jacket for a second. This long sleeve tan shirt that's so hot, we don't know where we got it from, second hand, five euro stand. I am wearing also this um, vest from Kaz, uh, pants from an Israeli brand, like Tel Avivian brand called Trez. Adidas Patagonia socks and this vintage blazer that I've had for a long time that I love and a bag that my friend Hani gave me bye oh and these sunglasses that we bought at the flea market in Rome and I finally changed their uh, lenses wow beautiful blue that's a very Gucci moment lens Hi guys, um, it's, what day is it? Sunday. You're on vacation from work, it's like, what day is it? Does anyone know? Wanted to share with you the outfit that I wore today. I didn't have a chance to film it before I left, so I just got home. This is a white sweater from And Other Stories, the one I keep wearing. <laughs> I need to go back and get also the blue color. There's like a bright blue that was really nice. This is a bag my friend Hani gave me, which I think I showed like the same bag I was wearing yesterday. These are these huge pleated pants from Muji, uh, which I bought when I was in Rome last time. Um, it can kind of look like a skirt from a specific angle, but then it's pants, which is even more fun. Weird strange thing is it only has one pocket on this side, and this side, no. So that's a little weird. Um, and camper shoes, and these glasses are actually Ohad's grandmother's, like, super vintage um, glasses, but of course they had, like, a very strong old prescription about things in the corner of my mouth. So he finally took them to um, like an eye repair and had them put in just a sort of sunglass uh, lens. So 
that's the vibe. And I wanted to share with you something exciting, which is that I bought myself today um, a Christmas gift. So I'll show them to you now. Recognize the brand? Um, I got myself, wow, this also, this box is like the real deal. Here where I'm living in Tel Aviv, um, I mean, it always really, really rains every year in the winter season. It's just like a lot of rain all at once. And the streets flood and you're all the time like walking through puddles of water. And I just really don't have shoes that are made for that kind of weather. All these, I wanted to live my Princess Diana in the countryside of England, gardening next to a horse. That's what I wanted. That's the vibe that I'm going for. So here it says hunterboots.com. And here it literally says, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, suppliers of waterproof footwear, Hunter Boot Limited, Edinburgh. So if you want to like act like you live in the crown, then these, this is for you. I love them. Oh my God. The tall version, because we also saw the short version. I just think they're so pretty. I love the Hunter logo. Just a kind of boot that I feel like I'll have literally for the rest of my life. Um, totally waterproof. I got them a little bit bigger. I could have gone with a 40, but I went with a 41 because you always want to wear like thick socks when you wear this kind of shoe. And I wanted to make sure that I have room. That is what I gifted myself for Christmas. Okay, so this is my um, kind of example outfit. I always thought that this jacket, I got this secondhand when I was in Norway. And I always thought that it gives me like equestrian vibes this with like a knit and jeans tucked into the boots I can see how they would not be everyone's taste but I think I'm in love yes bam wearing a Ben's dress uh, the tea box I can hand like Long time, Long time ago. Long time ago. Yeah. Even. Yeah. Been with me many years. Uh, and it has like a really sexy, deep, open back. Open back situation. Covered now. Cause we modest. We modest. This turtleneck that I actually found on the street. Um. Cute. Cute. These jeans that I also bought secondhand. Vintage. Vintage, like. Uh, Wrangler, so mm -hmm. something. Boots from other stories and hand hands from and from other your stories. Um, Hat from and other stories. Earrings. One earring that I took the like took pendant apart. off of. Yeah, that is from and other stories and another earring from a cheap jewelry store, and I lost the match. So. I'm so here we are, asymmetry. Hi guys, um, I think I didn't even introduce this vlog, um, so maybe I'll even put this clip in the beginning. So I've been on winter vacation off of work, we get like one week, and I think like I'm having a hard time filming this week also just because I'm, you know, resting and relaxing and just enjoying not to really have any commitments going on, but also I was supposed to fly to see my parents. Um, in Italy and then we were gonna meet somewhere in Greece, but because of just the new Pokemon virus um, Variant traveling is super tricky and I run the risk of not being let back in To the country that I'm currently living in which is totally an issue. So just flipped my plans um, So yeah, I've been kind of adjusting to that Christmas was a little bit different for me this year um, but it's okay. There will be many Christmases in the future, hopefully. So, yeah. Um, I have been reading Blue Nights by Joan Didion. As we know, Joan Didion just passed away 
it really hit me super hard. I can think about where I was in my life at every point that I read her books. Um, she really had an impact on me um, in terms of reading. And also just, yeah, she touched my life. Um, and I just really, really love her work. So um, one of her books <clears throat> that I hadn't read is Blue Nights, which is her book that she wrote after her daughter Quintana passed away. So <laughs> not the lightest of uh, reads, but I felt like I should read it now. Reading that, among other things that we can talk about. But I also, I think most of this video has been outfits, um, because maybe just being on vacation, it's been more fun to, to put like a nice outfit together in the morning. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna make this bed and then we're gonna talk about the outfit of today. I really need to get a tripod because it's impossible for me to find <laughs> like a surface that's high enough. So the outfit that I'm wearing today, oh no. And all of my outfits recently are kind of built around the new boots that I bought, which I showed you. These are my Hunter boots. They are the tall version. Love them. Actually, it hasn't been raining at all this week, although I think from the weekend on, we're like entering back into a long period of rain, so these are gonna come particularly in handy, but in general, I'm just loving, I'm just loving them. So today, I paired them with um, these dark wash jeans from Cause. They're in reality, like really flared and very long, super, super flattering as, as flares, but I can rarely wear them with flat shoes because they drag on the floor. So it's actually perfect for this because I can just shove them inside the boot. A bit thinner, um, so they're not like a super thick Levi or something, so it depends on what you like. And then I have a Uniqlo heat tech on because the temperatures are really dropping. Uh, dropping for where I live, you know. And I'm wearing just this Uniqlo navy blue cashmere sweater. This is a men's medium if you are looking for a size reference this is probably one of the best purchases i ever made for myself you know, i'm on my way to bike um and so this is probably not warm enough when i'm on my bike so i'm gonna throw on my coat this is my favorite coat ever i wish that i could say it's some kind of sustainable independent brand but it's zara there's something in the pocket, gloves, um, that I bought many years ago in Russia when I was working in Moscow. And it was very cold in Moscow, as we know. It was February or something, so I needed a coat. Just everything about this coat, I love. I love the way it fits. It's just, I love it. So that's me. I constantly feel like I need to get on a horse. Ohad has kind of an exciting day. Um, someone approached him about making a small kind of mini documentary about him. So he's shooting that in the house today. So I am... I'm evacuating. <laughs> and I'm gonna go um, sit with my computer. I have some ideas rolling in my head for a film project. Um, so I'm gonna go try to write start writing that. Okay, see you later. Oh my god, good morning. It is 9.26 in the morning. I just woke up. Actually, I didn't just wake up. I've been watching YouTube in bed. Looks like something exploded inside the house, so that needs to be dealt with. 
How are you all doing? We're approaching the end of the year. It is the 30th of December. I wanted to update you that I took a little break from Blue Nights by Joan Didion because I, I just felt like it's beautiful and I love her and I was I'm really in, I was really enjoying to read it but it's also heavy. I mean, book about the loss of your daughter is just not a light topic. And I felt myself just sinking into something I felt like for my mental health these days, I should just like step a little bit away from that. Signed up for therapy. It's one thing that I really wanted to do in this coming new year is go to see a therapist. So setting aside Blue Nights, um, I started Motherhood by Sheila Hetty. Sheila Hetty is like one of those, you know, fucking amazing big brain women who's writing just incredible things. I think it was like, who was it? Was it CJ or someone wrote like the four horsemen of literature and it's like Cusk, Hetty, Levy or something, I don't remember. But anyway, um, yeah, she's just like one of those. Her newest book, Pure Color, um, I think is gonna be like my favorite book ever <laughs> from what I hear from other people. Um, obviously, I don't think it's out yet. It's FSG, so I'm not, I, I can't get my hands on it unless they send it to me. She's very well known for her book, Motherhood, which I thought is a memoir, but it is a novel. It's definitely autofiction. Um, so yeah, she's just grappling with the questions of motherhood, you know, the big decision to become a mother or not, looking at it through all the lenses of how you're looked at by other women, by other men, by society for choosing not to be a mom as a woman, and also like the creation of a child in relationship to the creation of art. Um, and can those things coexist? There are so many of you are um, familiar with that and I know that a lot of you have read this book already because you've written either me about it or I just like see it circulating. So um, it's time that I read it. I'm doing it as a buddy read with my friend Mai. Hopefully we can film something together. Um, I just got to the 100 page mark. I think it's about like near under 300 pages. She's fucking smart and so good and I love this sense of like constant questioning. Always coming back to this sort of Confucius thing which is to like um, flip three coins and if two out of three are heads the answer is yes and if two out of three are tails then the answer is no. So she's sort of like flipping these coins and asking questions. So questions about writing the book itself. Um, so just totally my kind of shit. And I really like a book about someone questioning, um, well, questioning life, but questioning meaning at the conjunction of being an artist, meaning of art, meaning of um, life purpose, meaning of children and childbearing. And she's just gorgeous, isn't she? I'm gonna go try to clean up the house because it's not gonna do itself, you know what I'm saying? So, bye. Okay, so I'm getting out of the frame. So I'm wearing this uh, reverse polo shirt as a turtleneck. <laughs> but I feel like my head keeps like getting out of the frame. And this dress, which is actually the lining of a dress that I got from a friend, and I didn't like the dress very much, so I just cut out the lining. Out the lining. And jeans from Zara, sneakers from Skechers. <laughs> Embarrassed to say, and these glasses that I'm wearing all the time. Vintage Gucci frame. Uh, cause jeans. Belt also from Cos. Shoes also from Cos. <laughs> Heat Tech socks, Uniqlo. Cardigan, somewhere secondhand. And cashmere jumper from Uniqlo, which you saw already. 
Because it's a beautiful day outside and we don't really need a coat. Yes. Finally. We found on the street an ad that Ohad is photographed in, and he just, I fully, just fully ripped it off the street. Off the street and put it by my bed. <laughs> Look at that supermodel of the world. What are we doing? Uh, toasting for the new year. Our first toast of the night. Yes. Not just, 12 yet. It's just a preview toast. While we're real. still sober. Yes. What are you wearing? You're giving us a and little... Some of you may have seen this outfit on my Instagram. Ah! If not, Shameless, you are sleeping Shamelessly on the plugging account. on the Instagram. You guys, he knows how to advertise. Got this shirt secondhand. It's too much skin for YouTube. <sighs> Actually, we were... Potentially gonna go to like a 70s themed party party I'm still debating if this shirt is, is it giving you more 90s or 70s. I think it's the 90s nod to the 70s and a little belt and some jeans yeah, with belt, some I like really with some floral on the bottom. Yeah. And these are Ben's shoes that I like slowly made into my size. Which they didn't even fit you at first. No. And you just I like shoved it in there. I stretched them. Good enough. Let's take a moment to just appreciate the, the hair. The hair. That did Doing take a me full a time. 360. Yes. Um, cause dress, which I feel like is just... How surprising. Yeah, not surprising. It's just... <laughs> It's like my favorite dress that I've bought in a long time because it feels like really comfortable, so much space, but elegant. Black stilettoise. Come on, stilettos. Yeah. Love you, booktube. Thanks for a great year. Oops, oh no. just wanted to end the vlog and come and say happy new year because it's the first of January on 20 in 2022 that's wild um but yeah I I hope you all had a great new year's eve and that we welcome this new year with everything that you wish for and I don't know if you're like me you like set some intentions and Ohad and I talked yesterday about things that we not necessarily like goals, but just things that we wish for and we'd like to kind of um, manifest for ourselves in the next year. But I wanted to share some new books that I got, which um, were gifts for Christmas that I didn't share. The first one came from At Work We Do Secret Santa. If you watched my um, previous vlog, which I'll link somewhere up here, um, talking you through some book options that I got for the person that I was assigned to, but the person that had me um, gave me a book, which is perfect. It looks like quite a loved book, um, so I'm gonna speak to her and see if maybe this book means something um, to her. Maybe she read it or something or loves it. This is Maggie O'Farrell's This Must Be The Place. I know this author's name, she's from Northern Ireland. She wrote Hamnet which was quite popular recently. A reclusive former film star living in the wilds of Ireland, Claudette Wells thinks nothing of firing a gun if strangers get too close to her house. Why is she so fiercely protective of her privacy and what made her disappear at the height of her cinematic fame? Her husband, Daniel, reeling from a discovery about a woman he last saw 20 years ago is about to make an exit of his own. It is a journey that will send him off course far from home. Will his love for Claudette be enough to bring him back? This must be the place crosses continents and time zones, creating a portrait of an extraordinary marriage, the forces that hold it together, and the pressures that drive it apart. And then Ohad's mom 
gave me three books for Christmas, which was so sweet. She went to one of my favorite bookshops here um, and got me three books. One being Another Country by James Baldwin, which we know Ohad read um, on my old channel. We did a video together. Maybe I'll link that downstairs if you want to hear him talk about this. So he read this in Hebrew, and I think it will be really nice to also be able to read it in English. This masterly story of desire, hatred, and violence opens with the unforgettable character of Rufus Scott, a scavenging Harlem jazz musician adrift in New York. Self-destructive, bad, and brilliant, he draws us into a bohemian underworld pulsing with heat, music, and sex, where desperate and dangerous characters betray, love, and test each other to the limit. Sounds juicy. Then she got me Piranesi by Susanna Clark. This is one of those books that I keep seeing everywhere and people that I really love and trust have loved it. Um, I know it's more in the magical realism end of things <laughs> that I don't normally read. Um, but it's that kind of, it's that book that like, I don't know if I would buy for myself. Um, but now that someone bought it for me, I think I'll probably read it. Um, so I'm actually excited about that just for when I'm feeling like I want like a magical, confusing, labyrinth um, story. Piranesi lives in the house. Perhaps he always has. Then messages begin to appear, scratched out in chalk on the pavements. There's someone new in the house, but who are they and what do they want? Lost texts must be found. Secrets must be uncovered. The world that Piranesi thought he knew is becoming strange and dangerous. The beauty of the house is immeasurable. Its kindness infinite. So I know that Iggy and Carolyn really loved this, so gotta give that a try. And the last one she got is a big one. Um, Great Circle by Maggie Shipstead. This was shortlisted for something. Was it the Booker? I don't remember. It's on a literary prize. I don't remember which one. This one is a big one, uh, almost 600 pages. From the night she's rescued as a baby out of the flames of a sinking ship to the day she joins a pair of daredevil pilots looping and diving over the rugged forests of her childhood, to the thrill of flying spitfires during the war, the life of Marion Graves has always been marked by a lust for freedom and danger. In 1950, she embarks on her life's dream to fly a great circle around the globe, but after a crash landing, she finds herself stranded on the Ant Antarctic ice without enough fuel. With a fearsome stretch of water separating her from her goal, she writes one last entry in her logbook. She is ready for her final journey. Half a century later, Hadley Baxter, a brilliant, troubled Hollywood starlet, we have like a Hollywood starlet vibe going on here, is irresistibly drawn to play Marion Graves, a role that will lead her to probe the deepest mysteries of the vanished pilot's life. Sounds good. And that's it. So, Happy New Year. I hope to make lots of videos in the new year. Please can someone give me an exemption from doing the 2021 book wrap up? It's just really giving me anxiety and it just feels like a chore that I don't really want to do, but I feel like I should do it. Anyways, so thanks for a great year on booktube and I will see you in the next video. Bye!